Mayor Bonnie Crombie here with your update for April 5th. Our bylaw and security officers are out in full force in our parks and public spaces this weekend, undertaking an enforcement blitz. I stopped by one of our hot spots, Jack Darling Park, in Port Credit yesterday, where I chatted with a few of the residents who were walking along the waterfront trail, while of course maintaining proper physical distancing. I learned that many people are still very confused about the rules in our parks. I get it. There's a lot of information out there. So please, let me simplify. Our parks are still open. They are not closed. What is closed is our parking lots and the facilities within our parks. Like our playgrounds, outdoor fitness equipment, basketball and tennis courts, soccer fields and leash-free dog parks. You can still bring your dog for a walk through the park but leash-free zones are closed. You can walk with your immediate family who you're isolating with. For everyone else, you must remain two meters or six feet apart. If you are 70 plus, solo walks or walks with your family which whom you are self-isolating with are still okay. Of course, keep your distance from others. Do not bring your car to the park because there is nowhere to park it. Do not let your kids bring basketballs, tennis rackets, or soccer balls to the park. Fields and courts are closed. Do not let your kids use the playground equipment. If you get to the park and there are too many people, please turn around and go home. While education is always our first choice, we will be fining people $750 or more if they are caught disobeying these rules. We're still asking you to limit your trip out and stay home as much as possible. Hopefully this clarifies things. To those who are listening, thank you. Stay healthy, stay safe, Mississauga. Until tomorrow.